unable to pass any restrictions on the sale of guns. Republicans have instead offered legislation to raise the voting age to 45. <laughs> Non-gun owners' votes will count as three-fifths of the gun owners' vote because the three-fifths rule is what the founders intended. <laughs> or something like that. When something important to them happens, politicians can act quickly. Within days of a puppy dying in an overhead baggage bin on United Airlines flight, there was a U.S. Senator who proposed legislation to protect animals in flight. Nineteen years after the Columbine school shooting, and still there's no legislation for the protection of children in their classrooms. They are less concerned about dead school children than they are about dead puppies. Now, unlike the case of the dead children, no one claimed that the puppy was a crisis actor who wasn't really dead at all, but just part of an anti-airline hoax. No right-wing blog posted pictures of the alleged dead puppy alive and frolicking in his destination. No one called the owners of the puppy in the middle of the night, accusing them of hating airlines and using their puppy as a tool for their political aims. No right-wing broadcasters called the puppy names or accused it of being a lesbian with an agenda. <laughs> when asked why they can't regulate guns, politicians claim that there are too many guns already out there for them to be able to control them. Or they'll complain that there's no sense passing gun regulations since criminals always get guns. How come I never hear that? logic when they talk about the war on marijuana. <laughs> they never say, why pass drug laws? They're just, criminals can always get drugs. I've never heard a politician say, there's too much pot out there already, we just can't <laughs> legislate against it. <laughs> They're ready to try and stop a plant that can be grown anywhere, but guns, that seems too complicated. No one has ever grown an AR-15 in the basement under a glow, a grow light. <laughs> one way we might get the Republicans to support control of assault weapons is if a gunman attacks a fertility clinic and destroys a freezer full of fertilized eggs. Fox News would report it as a mass murder. Politicians would ask us to mourn for the unborn victims. Thoughts and prayers and legislation would be passed to make fertility clinics a gun-free zone. <laughs> yeah, there would be action because in this country the unborn are more concerned to the politicians than the previously born. Exactly. I also find it amusing when the NRA claims that Hitler was for gun control so no one could resist him. <laughs> the NRA likes to say that if the Jews had guns, the Nazis wouldn't have been able to round them up. How could a bunch of Jews armed with rifles be better at fighting the Nazis than the entire British and French armies and air force <laughs> that they defeated before they conquered Europe? How would armed Jews have been able to stop Hitler? An NRA spokesman once said that Anne Frank would have survived the war if her father had bought her a gun <laughs> instead of a diary. <laughs> Anne Frank was considered an undocumented immigrant to the Germans, and they were just coming to get her the way ICE gets people here. Now, if the NRA would support her right to shoot at the Germans who came to get her, do they support the rights of undocumented immigrants here to shoot at U.S. immigration officers coming to ship them away? Does the NRA support killing cops? Because that's who the tyrannical government sends to get you. They're not sending the Secretary of State. It'll be cops you're killing. Right. Somewhere in the basement of a sanctuary church is a young immigrant girl keeping a diary. Someday that diary will be as famous as Anne Frank's diary. Only in this diary, we're the Nazis. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is